good morning or afternoon I guess whatever time you wake up and if you choose to watch this I pulled my hair down from my ponytail that has been in for two weeks and you can see it did not go well anyway hi guys I miss you so much um, as you probably heard uh, our school like not allowed to go back to school from the governor is extended till May 4th so I won't be able to see you guys for at least another month, but I'll still keep doing these videos and our Google Hangouts and all of the things to hopefully keep in touch with you. Um, you already know that I miss you. I've had several students reach out that have wanted books. If you reach out to me and you want me to send you a book through email, like like actually send you a book from Amazon, I need you to make sure that you include your address. Otherwise, I don't know if your Skyward address is correct. So I need you to make sure that you say, hey, Ms. Johnson, can I get this book? Also, here's my address so I can make sure that I order it and send it to the right place from Amazon because I want you guys to read. Um, okay, so we are going to do the book talk um, in a minute. Your first assignment was due on Monday. Um, there are several of you that have not turned it in. You should be expecting feedback by tomorrow at the latest. It was supposed to be earlier, but the life kind of slipped away from me and for I like was waiting for kids to do it and then now kids haven't turned it in and so I'm waiting um, if you have turned it in you should already have feedback or you should be getting feedback shortly um, but yeah so anywho um, your new assignment came out on Monday as well um, the writing topics are a lot more fun there's a few that are coronavirus related but for the most part they're just like watch a video or you know talk about something else that's not related to the virus um, because you know we're already dealing with that in our daily lives so let's talk about other stuff let's see what else is going on we're more than just this pandemic um, for instance with me I am trying to buy furniture for the baby and I'm trying to eat healthier which is really hard but I have to because <sighs> it's hard I love all the sweet stuff right now and I can't eat any of it and it's just really sad. So I'm trying to find healthy recipes and um, I'm taking my dog out and going on walks. So all of this, all the things that I'm doing to keep myself busy and distracted and still happy. So I want to know what you guys are doing. Okay, so uh, Warriors Don't Cry by Melba Patillo Beals. Um, I book talked this a while back after we read an excerpt in class. Um, some of you listened, some of you didn't, and it is such a good book, and it's so worth reading that I felt the need to book talk it again. So, uh, Warriors Don't Cry follows Melba Batia when she turned 16. Um, that was whenever she and her uh, eight other classmates joined um, the front lines of the civil rights movement, and once in it was decided that integration needed to happen, her and her eight classmates were the first students to integrate into Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, I'm keeping in mind that this was a time with segregation and hate and all of these awful things were prevalent and popular and even more so people were very open and honest about it even more than they are now um, these students that were kids decided to go to the school and they were met with an obscene amount of hate and resistance and um, downright just violent and mean mean things and people just like adults that are supposed to be there to protect you just turn the other cheek they were like well well no oh well um and so this um talks about her first year or her year at that school and what she went through and the things that she experienced while going to little rock high school trying to integrate and trying to be a part of this population um where people felt like she didn't belong that she wasn't <clears throat> supposed to be there she shouldn't have been there in their minds. Um, I'm going to read just a little bit of it so you can, um, hold on, let's find it. Uh, let's see. Mm. Let's see. It says, as I read the morning newspaper that Monday with all the changes, I thought maybe the headline would read, Integration Halted Again. At least this time, it seemed, everybody was expecting us to arrive at Central High School, go inside, four classes. As I walked back to the kitchen, I decided I would begin to mark off my days at Central High on the big wall calendar that belonged to Grandma. I longed to see all the cross marks filled with the days that would become weeks and then months. I glanced at the month of September and picked up the spot. I lost my place. 
where I could put the first cross mark. If I completed the first day, Lord, please let me be strong enough to fill in this day and all the school days that follow, I whispered. It was not yet 8 o'clock when Mama and I parked at the curb just outside Mrs. Bates' home. I was surprised to see so many people milling about the yard. There was a, a double. There was double the usual throng of news reporters. Everybody spoke in whispers. I was ushered through the crowd into the living room, where ra the radio and news reports held everyone's attention. We nine acknowledged one another with nervous smiles and a very few whispered words. Adults nodded to each other with a kind of glance that seemed to carry secret messages, as they periodically looked at their watches. The nervousness grew worse with each mo passing moment. People were pacing, pretending to smile, sitting a moment, then rising to pace again. After a while, I became one of those people. We were going to be late for school, no doubt. Late on the first day, what would everybody think? The phone rang. It was time to be on our way. Uh, and this was right before that excerpt that we read where people were being real awful to him. All right, Words Don't Cry, if you want it, send me an email. I will send it to your house. It's a very short book, as you can see. It's not going to take you long to read. And in the center, there are pictures. Yay! So, definitely a book worth reading. Um, anyway... Hopefully I'll continue to do this. Today I'm going to do our Google Hangouts at 2 to 2.30. And then my yearbook will be from 2.30 to 3. So I will be online to talk to you if you need to talk to me. Okay, I'll see you later.